Hey, I appreciate you sticking around. Absolutely, man. Right? No I was problem. talking to these former Buckeyes, these <laughs> yeah. coaches of Westerville. They're doing really nice guys. Very cool all to have them all here. Yeah, really, really nice to talk right. to those guys. It's, uh, it's odd not to see them in scarlet and gray, though. <laughs> it is. It is. They're green now, yeah, right? I know, yeah. It's real weird. Yeah. Almost like Sparty-ish. Yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. But uh, Sports Force. Yeah. OAC. Mm -hmm. Great partnership. Yep. Yeah. 41 teams this year. Crazy, isn't The it? event continues yeah. to grow. We're post-pandemic. Mm -hmm. Things seem to be exploding here, right? And you guys are, I see baseballs right here, yep. see, right? So yep. you're just probably transitioning from fall ball to having a football tournament. Is yeah, that right? Well, you know, we, we so we're, the, the season starts in March, right? We start March with soccer and then we roll till, you know, till early November. And baseball, softball, soccer dominate, you know, the play throughout the most of the year. Um, and then, uh, then we filter in some other some other events like we had some lacrosse in here in the summer a little bit, uh, adult flag football, which is kind of kind of fun to watch. Uh, and then, uh, then obviously we culminate the year, wrap the year with the OAC partnership and bringing that in. So last week we had we had a hundred and twenty soccer teams in here, and my maintenance team had to convert the park in five <laughs> days for football, right? And it's in. You know, we uh, while we have synthetic turf everywhere, and the only lines we really have are soccer. You know, the big soccer fields. So we have to paint. They have to, you know, they have to pull all the, the lines, fields. All the fields. Yep. So. Eight fields. Seven this year. Seven. Seven okay. This year. Yeah. So. Wow. Yeah. yeah, we could do. We could go up to eight, but we just it was seven, so we can give you more room to grow. Yeah, you think about this first year out here, we had 18, 19 teams, and here we are, forty-one. It's awesome. Talk about the partnership, Shores and Islands, Ohio, Lake yeah, Erie, sure. right? What you guys are doing with them, what's going on with OAC, and what you guys do in these partnerships, and what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. So Shores and Islands, uh, again, a, a great ambassador to the area uh, across all all facets. They're a great partner here. We bring hundreds of thousands of people to town and working with them to you know connect with the local community and the local partners. Uh, and then the part, you know, you know, then the three-way partnership. I mean, uh, again, the same thing. Just no different than what we do all summer long. We're bringing teams in from all over the state. Uh, and, you know, during the summer, we bring teams in from all over the country, uh, which is great. 28 states this past year, so we came here. So. I don't know if anyone's ever told you this, yeah. but you're the smallest guy I've interviewed today. Yeah. <laughs> I Those saw that. Those guys yeah. were massive. I know, and I'm 6'4". So I yeah, know, you're I'm a big guy. Yeah, you're yeah. probably 6'4", 260, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Those guys are massive. Yeah, they are. Well, they were playing They were playing college with professional ball. I wasn't, so. <laughs> okay, yeah. so sports force. Yeah. Is the other one in Dixburg, Mississippi? Oh, wow, right? look at that. Now you I get correct. That? Yeah, yeah, we got to Vicksburg, Mississippi, very similar to this park. Uh, same thing, same mix. We actually do a little more football down there because, because quite frankly, everybody plays football in Mississippi. So uh, a lot of a lot of uh, juco ball, things like that down there. But yeah, uh, another great facility uh, down there as well. You got the Death Star next door, which is not a partner of <laughs> right, yours, right, right? With Cedar right. Point Sports. And what is that like? How do you coexist with them? And how do you guys kind of like, I don't know, yeah. exist together? Great question. So uh, there's a lot of parking out there that gets utilized. Uh, we're very fortunate when we are busy at our busiest, they are not. And then obviously they're going into the cooler months and we're just not going to be out here doing things uh, in January. So uh, there's a big ebb and flow with the parking lot usage. Uh, we do, do get a couple crossover events in the late spring and one in the fall where it gets a little it gets a little hurried, but uh, we work it out, right? Just make sure the schedules work out, that people understand. And, and the big key is communicating in advance to the people that are coming. Let them know, hey, heads up, it's going to be a busy weekend. We have a lot of traffic on the roads. Make sure you give yourself enough time to be at the park. Yeah, I've always wondered how that the ebb and the flow with yeah. you and them work. Yeah. It's, but you're different. Yeah. You've got different markets. Right. So that yeah. works out, right? Yeah, absolutely. One thing I have noticed about both of you, though, usually there is Cedar Point tied in one way or another with them. Obviously, we know totally with them because yeah. it's on the name. Sure. But with you guys, a lot of the tickets get tied in with Cedar Point or people go to Cedar Point. Correct. Right? Huge draw. One of the best, uh, in my opinion, the best amusement park on the planet Earth. Absolutely. How do you guys have partnerships in them? What's the up and the flow with them? Well, I think about it. Technically, our brand is Sports Force Parks at Cedar Point Sports Center. So the whole complex with the indoor and the outdoors mm -hmm. is uh, Cedar Point Sports Center. That one just has to be branded that way. Yeah. We've got a great, great partnership. Uh, people come during the, during the season, people come to play in tournaments here, and the players get a free five day pass to go to the point. Uh, extends the stay in, while they're in town, right? Makes it a family vacation. Great discounts for family and friends in that as well. I got a five and a six year old. Yeah. When am I supposed to start taking them over to Cedar Point? When, 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 tell me, I need to know the sweet spot. Uh, well, I mean, obviously you're going over there. I mean, you know, sooner you get them there, the better. I mean, not, you know, Kidland's great, but you know, it's just it's all about 
it's, there's so many different experiences over there, right? I mean, whether what you're looking for, whether it's you know shows to, to you know the low thrill rides to the big thrill rides. So you know, I'm just glad they survived COVID because you know so yeah. many businesses shut down, and it's such a unique yeah. thing over there, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. And you can't be near other yeah. people, right? And that was a big part yeah. of the pandemic. Sure. You couldn't be around people breathing on them, this, that, and the other. But they survived. I'm happy. I got to yeah. get my kids there yeah. soon. Do you have anything else for me? Uh, yeah, we're again excited to be able to support OAC and and uh, and everything that they, what their mission is and kind of drive some uh, drive some additional exposure into the into the market and uh, you know support their programming. Thank you for the time. Can't wait to get in. I'm not not cold. I'm not cold today. Seventy degrees. Crazy. Sun rim. <laughs> this is not Ohio. One of the guys I was interviewing was from Tampa. Yeah. I was like, what are you doing? Get back down to Tampa. Thank you for the time. Good luck to you guys moving forward. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks.